have called Aditya Mittal's name. Finally, we have Aditya with his maiden grandmaster norm. Hello everybody, I'm back with Aditya Mittal who is the proud owner of his first Grandmaster Norm here at Serbia Open 2021. Um, Aditya, how does this feel? I know you've been deserving this Norm for quite some time now and you finally got it. So what do you have to say? Yeah, I'm very happy of course and uh it was my aim to get a norm in this event, uh, but definitely did not, did not think of it after the first three rounds. So, really happy. Uh, yeah, you know, actually, after the first three rounds, you must have felt a little dejected, right? Uh, yeah, not so much, but I, I was not thinking of the norm then. I just wanted to have a good comeback and get uh, get some good results. And did you just uh, resolve all this by yourself, or did you have someone you spoke to? No, mostly just by myself. Just by yourself? Yeah. Okay, so you pump yourself up on your own? Um, yeah, of course, parents also play a big role. But, uh, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, no, this is really, uh, really nice. Uh, you know, Aditya, you're only f 15 years old? 14 uh, right now. He's, yeah, okay. You about turn 15. To turn. You're about to turn 15, yes. And, you know, you all have to pl display such maturity. There is always ups and downs. Um, as you said, bumpy start, and still we are sitting here today and interviewing you because you've made your maiden grandmaster norm. So uh, tell me, how was your game today? You uh, needed a must draw, right? It was a must yeah, draw today situation. I needed a draw for the norm, uh, and it was a quick draw. I think in 15, 20 moves. Uh, I don't think uh, he intended to play for a draw from the start because he uh, chose a bit. Uh, strange opening not strange but a sideline uh, which was which made it clear that he was trying to just play a game but it got into a very equalist position uh, so finally uh, he offered a draw and i took it and why do you think he offered a draw uh, i think he thought that he is going into a bit minus position so uh, so he offered a draw and his standing is also coming good so uh, usually at the top boards they offer a draw in such situations sometimes interesting Great. Uh, which was the best game in this tournament? Uh, I think 8th uh, round against Evgeny Poshni. You had a win yesterday, yeah, right? Yeah, win. that is a really strong win. Would you like to analyze that game with us? Yeah, sure. So, I was white and uh, I played d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, bishop b4, queen c2. And here he played c5. He has not played this before, so I was not expecting it. Uh, but I knew the lines kind of. So d into c5, I took castle, knight f3, knight c6, uh, a3, bishop c5, bishop g5. So all, all this is very normal. Uh, I don't know if it's exactly theory right now, but it's pretty much normal. So he played h6, bishop h4, bishop e7, uh, e3. I just want to develop my pieces, bishop e2, castle, rook d1. So he played b6, um, bishop e2, bishop b7, castle, b6, rook f d1. Uh, and here I expected him to play knight h5. So he should try to exchange the dark square bishops because uh, then his queen gets the safe square on e7. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, I was considering here knight e4 for me with the idea bishop into h4 knight into d6 but it's not working because black can play bishop e7 back and knight b7 queen c7 and the knight is trapped okay so so uh, uh, after knight h5 I should play bishop e7 queen e7 and it's probably uh, a bit more pleasant for me but it's about equal okay so I think uh, he, sh he should have played knight h5 but he went queen b8 instead Mm -hmm. Queen b8 and then uh, I played b4, b4 a6. I'm not sure if this is a good move because he he is weakening his b6 pawn. He has to play a6 at some point, but I think not here. Okay. It, but still, it was fine, not a big deal. So I played knight a4, attacking the pawn. Mm -hmm. Played queen c7, 
and here my first uh, instinct was to go c5 with the idea bc bc dc5 knight c5 and uh, it seemed like a good position for me but uh, here he has knight d8 okay uh, and my knight on c5 is in trouble i think after rook c1 rook c8 there's no way to defend it okay because it is pinned hmm so i couldn't go c5 and i went rook rook a c1 instead preparing c5 and here i think he should have played rook a c8 but he went rook d8 ah okay rook d8 was also fine actually because i'm still not getting c5 because uh, he takes this and takes rook into d1 okay and my pieces are getting discoordinated okay so uh, rook d8 and i played b5 here i think this is a good move um if you plays the point is that if you plays something like knight a5 i think i can go queen b2 mm-hmm. and i'm threatening to take b a6 and queen b6 he also he played knight b8 instead probably the idea is that b a6 he wants to go knight into a6 and then knight c5 so here i played queen b2 first and uh, now it's getting a bit difficult for black i think he had a around 25 minutes think over here okay and uh, if he plays a5 a5 i think this is the most natural move but the point is that i go queen d4 yeah knight d7 and bishop into f6 now the point point is that if he takes bishop into f6 back i have queen d6 so his pawn is going if he takes knight into f6 i have queen into b6 and if he takes g into f6 his king uh, pawn structure is spoiled i but i think here he had another option which probably he missed or maybe he underestimated it which is e5 uh huh not recapturing immediately but uh, threatening my queen yeah so if i go back with the queen he can simply take knight into f6 because now the b6 pawn is not threatened correct so i have Uh, after e5 i would have to take bishop into e5 uh huh d5 queen b2 and uh, i am a pawn up but he has two bishops sh- so he has good compensation even though i thought i should be a bit better but he has some good compensation okay so but he didn't play this a5 he played uh, bishop a8 i think this is a mistake okay and here i played uh, queen d4 putting a trap for him which he fell into ultimately i see and uh, i think here he should have gone knight d7 but i, I then i can take b into a6 and it's a pawn up but it's at least better for him than what happened in the game did he have time pressure no we both had around 20 minutes okay uh, uh yeah but he didn't see this uh, tactic so he played ab5 quite quickly okay and the point was that uh, cv5 he went queen a7 mhm now his idea was that i can i can't take queen b6 because of queen a4 and if i go knight b6 his idea is to go bishop f3 bishop f3 e5 but here he missed that after bishop f3 bishop f3 e5 i have a very nice move knight c8 threatening the queen uh, and also uh, knight into e7 check is coming in some cases for example if he takes queen into d4 So he, I think he missed this knight c8, and then is winning. Yeah. So he went uh, bishop f3, bishop f3, queen a3, rook a1, queen c5, queen c5, d c5, knight c4, and now uh, material is equal, but uh, I have a passed pawn and two bishops, so I won. Nice. So Aditya, you realize, and actually now I realize. that yesterday's game was more crucial than today's game right for you because yesterday was like a must win yeah. if you even drew yesterday's game you probably wouldn't then you would have to have a must win today yeah so did that cross your mind before going into the round yesterday yeah of course i wanted to play for a win because uh, first of all i was white yesterday and there was and if i drew then there was a good chance i would get black again i mean i would get black and uh, winning with black is of course not the easiest thing yeah and la- as luck would have it you had white again today so yeah. things are going your way yeah this tournament yeah. it's almost like you were destined to come here and make a norm and you know things were working out in your favor so which is always nice to have yeah uh, aditya you know there are a lot of people a lot of kids actually that i know of that look up to you they always wonder you know what is it that aditya does 
to be you know so good at what that chess so is there some advice that you'd like to give you know children who are aspiring to become international masters grand masters what would you tell them um of course i'm very young now i i i, I would just say that uh, whatever you do just you should love what you do and you should be fully committed to the process give you 100% every day keep working hard and you will achieve your goals if you are very sincere and determined to do what you want but uh, isn't that really hard to keep doing day in and day out just to keep uh, focused every single day because there are so many distractions i mean you're a teenager right wouldn't you want to play video games wouldn't you want to go out with your friends wouldn't you want to just hang uh i don't know that's a uh, kind of the environment we should create around ourselves that of course we should have fun it's not like i, I don't work on chess more than 10 hours a day i i have time for other things i have other hobbies uh huh like i have other hobbies like singing uh, cricket many things uh, okay so i don't fully uh, stay in chess all the time but when i do it I, i try to do quality work that's the important thing i think very nice and are there any chess books you would like to recommend for uh, uh, aspiring grandmasters um i think all of dorotsky's books are amazing mhm recently i was reading uh, secrets of creative thinking okay and uh, of course dorotsky's end game manual is uh, very important and one of my favorite books uh, just for positions not for much uh, explanation mm-hmm. is recognizing your opponent's re- resources okay really many nice positions many different topics very nice uh what where are you going next i'm sure you know you've come here to play after so long uh, i'm sure you must be having yeah. this mission of playing a few tournaments at least trying your chance and getting as many norms as you can in one trip right so what's your next destination yeah next i'm leaving for paris in today mhm so tournament starts tomorrow and after that i think i have uh, some closed event closed round robin in paris in itself uh yeah i think so okay yeah. great wish you all the very best aditya for your next few uh, tournaments place really well and hope you can go back home with a few norms thank you